Now we were doing this same sort of thing about three weeks ago today on these guns right here. Now these were the six inch guns. Uh, the, I remember when I toured that ship that's in uh, Hamilton, Ontario here in Canada, if I'm not mistaken, these were the size of that gun, or that gun was these si this size, however you want to look at it. And uh, I was pretty impressed already with that. I, w I would have liked to have seen something like that actually, you know, fire. Now, these are the guns that we were doing, well, I can't even remember now, maybe a month ago. And these are, were the 105 millimeters. They're like a, a very large tank gun. Now, I want to show you something here. Watch, watch this. Yeah. Can you imagine the size of these 380 millimeter guns? Uh, it must have been a real feather in your sailor's cap to be able to have, uh, you know, been assigned to one of these. Now, granted, in, on the Bismarck, it ended up going down, and, and in all likelihood, probably most or maybe even all of the crew that worked in these, you know, didn't survive. I think there was only about a hundred or so survivors. Yeah, that, that was too bad. Well, that's, that's war, right? Anyway, I'm going to be trying to get this piece of photo etch glued around the outside. I guess we'll do it much the same way as we did on this. Now, I was curious, how did I do it on, on these ones before? Well, I uh, checked it on, I checked my, my own videos on YouTube this morning to see how I did it. And all I did was I just held it in and then touched a little bit of CA to the side, let it wick its well, let's put the macro lens on and do it. So I was trying to think here, what is the best way to do this one? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of CA right here on, on this part. And then uh, after the CA sets, I'll get a hold of this part and I'll pull it tight this way. Um, well, at least that's the plan. Okay, this is a CA medium. I don't want to be putting so much on, it's going to wick its way over onto the other end. Now, can we put a little bit here? And then hook into it. Okay, I would say that that's cured. And my plan is to just sort of spot weld all the way around. Um, maybe here on the sides where I might be grabbing onto it, maybe I should uh, make sure I have the spots close together or maybe continuous. Guess I'm gonna have to hold it down here. There's a little hair attached to the end of this. I better get that off of there. been all the way around now.
Now when it comes to painting this part, I want that ring to be the darker gray, even though most of the turret is going to be the lighter gray. So I'll probably do this uh, photo etch ring by hand. Much the same way as we did it here on the 6 inch guns three weeks ago. We are now at the hardest parts and of the hardest parts I would say these uh, D32's that have to go along the back here, these railings there's five of them I would say that they are probably the hardest I'll uh, put my macro lens on and I'll show you you know the difficulty that we're facing there's there's no markings anywhere on here that show where they're supposed to go you just sort of have to eyeball them and according to the what you see right here they go right on the very edge which is you know like that and also according to the drawing in Stefan's book I found one that sh sort of shows them um, maybe I'll I'll look it up later Anyway, the, how am I going to glue these on there without it looking really globbed? Anyway, um, I'll put the macro lens on and maybe we'll figure something out here. Okay, I'm taking a shot a little further back so that you can get yourself orientated with the way everything is. And we'll be looking nice and close right here. Now, as near as I can tell, these have to be glued in an upright position like this all the way around. They're supposed to represent a railing that you would grab onto I guess and uh, I'll just leave this one laying here if I can get it to release. There we go. Now you will notice these little bumps all the way along there. Okay we gotta try and put a little tiny bump of glue um, hey, wait a minute. Does this bump line up with this one and this one with this one, or is it just my imagination right now? Or is it wishful thinking? Let's see if I can turn this over the other way. Not really. I was thinking that possibly, you know, this, this prong could go into this one and this prong could go into this one. And the center one, well, it matches up right now, but they they don't perfectly match. Very close, though. That's too bad. Okay, now, if I was to use my my needle here that I've been using for the last couple of months now, and if I was to try and put a little tiny blob of glue down, you can imagine that it's it's going to be almost impossible to put a little bit of glue down in the right place. Um, now I was thinking, would it be possible to sort of dip those three uh, parts into into some glue and then set it on here? There's got to be a way to do this, otherwise Trumpeter would not have made this. I think this is probably, uh, you know, the guys that were able to do this, uh, they're, they are making like uh, what I call museum quality models. Um, that's just not my expertise, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, I sure wish that, that these lined up with these three holes, but well, they don't, so. Okay, so let's assume that I was to make a real mess here on these things. How easy would it be to take them off again? Well, I probably couldn't take them off again and sand it down without losing the detail here of these bumps. These rivets or bolts or whatever they're supposed to represent. Now, there is another thing that I just thought of. What if, instead of trying to stand them up, I just glued them in place 
laying down like that. At least there would be something there. Or would it look, would it be really obvious? No, mind you, we're seeing this because we're just zoomed right in and I'm, I'm right over top of it with my magnification hood. You can't see that, of course. Um, you know, we could do that. Um, or forget them altogether. Now the ladders, on the other hand, are a lot bigger. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can do the ladders okay. But I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to leave this um, and uh, see if anybody's got any ideas. My, th my three options are don't have them at all. Try and put them on and hope it doesn't make a mess. Or lay them down flat and then just use something like, uh, I, I'm thinking maybe CA thin or maybe maybe just the extra thin. And we have experimented, remember? And, and we can actually glue photo extra plastic, but it does not glue well. What happens is the uh, extra thin liquefies the, the plastic and it sort of, you know, flows around underneath a little part like that. On the other hand, it could be that this part is so light that the it's going to float on top of the extra thin. I don't know. I should maybe uh, see if I can find a little piece, of, an extra piece, an experiment. But we can do the ladders. But because I want the ladder darker, it has to be painted first. And then it goes on the side. We're just not getting anywhere today, are we? Like I've said before, I'll poke at it to try and make it better, and I'll end up making it worse. Okay, I think that's lined up straight with the edge. Don't anybody sneeze. Um, I do have time yet this afternoon to uh, glue those on, and this video is quite short from what I remember. So, um, I want to think about this. So, uh, in the comments below, what do you think? Should I give it a try and just glue them on laying flat like that and at least there's something there? Or not have, have nothing at all? Uh, I am afraid, like I keep saying, if I try to glue them on, I'm gonna make a mess of it. Well, thanks for watching and all being well. We'll see you tomorrow.